Okay. So. So we escaped the zombies. Luckily we had all of our ice fishing gear with us and we found an abandoned house. So hopefully we can lay low here for the night. And let's see what we have around us here. We're gonna make some dinner. We're going to, first we're checking the temperature. So it is, it's not too bad. It's not freezing. So about 41 degrees, 42 degrees outside and about 46 degrees inside. So first thing we're gonna want some heat and we've got our handy dandy propane heater and stove with us. And so first we're gonna have a carbon monoxide detector. We're gonna put it right here. And let's see if we can get some heat. So these ice fishing bibs are amazing. They're like an astronaut costume. They're sturdy, they protect you from the outside and inside it's like walking around in a sleeping bag. So for survival, these are awesome, especially when it's cold and we're gonna do some cold camping tonight. Uh, it won't be that cold actually, thanks to this. And we're gonna have some very special Ramen with some eggs we found outside. It's getting warm in here.
It's not a zombie. I got egg all over my face. Uh, what are the odds of that? Now this is how you cook an egg. thinking about bed. morning so it is chilly this is the fun part okay it's not too bad it's about 40 degrees inside and out right now and so the first thing we're going to do is Think about some heat and some breakfast and think about what the day is going to bring. So we're going to have coffee and oatmeal. So we're going to quickly boil about two cups of water, one cup for the coffee and or one and a half cups maybe two and a half cups, whatever this holds. Uh-oh, I hear scratching. It could be a, oh boy. Sometimes in these abandoned houses, there can be wildlife. And for now, we're gonna not let them come in. We'll see what happens. Maybe it's a stray cat. Okay, so at this point we've got heat coming. We've got our breakfast coming. And boy, this is fun. You haven't lived until you're in your little capsule, little home, and these ice fishing tents, in my opinion, are a game changer because they're insulated. And so anywhere you go, it could be outside, it could be a guest room. It could be cold and you're all self-contained and it's cozy and it's fun. So I like to pack in little baggies. This will be the breakfast oatmeal and this is all that goes into the coffee. It's going to be just dry crystals with sugar and cream. And I was, I was able to scrounge up a mug which, you know, in these abandoned houses, you never know what you're going to find. Yeah, 
Yeah, that heat up in like two minutes, not even. Uh oh, we're being invaded. Hi, stray cat. It's a stray cat because this is an abandoned building. Hello. Meow. Oh boy. You look hungry. Meow. Oh boy. All right. Okay. So we're gonna put our cream and sugar and coffee crystals in here. There's quite a bit, but we're roughing it. And it's nice to have a nice strong drink of coffee. Now how are we gonna pour that? And we're going to add a little bit of water. <clears throat> and maybe some salt. A little bit of pepper. And our oatmeal. So this is great, this is fun, whether you're camping out or escaping zombies or, you know, again, a guest room. It's a pandemic, so maybe you, we can't go camping all the time. You can go on your roof, on your lawn. So it wasn't very cold this time. Next time I'd like to go in colder temperatures and also install a wood stove in here with a some kind of a do-it-yourself chimney jack and we're gonna build that probably in the next video we're warm the oatmeal is going <coughs> oh that was good coffee you can still kind of taste the plastic from the water bag because I haven't used it much but this is nice. It's warm, it's sugary, it's coffee -y, and this is good times. I'll touch on this thing real quick. So this was powering our DVD player last night and also it can charge your phones or your iPads and even heat sources. So I could actually heat my coffee with this with like one of those single cup heaters and maybe we'll do that in another video. And these are just awesome. You either charge them with your car or in the wall or solar and it makes you really self-contained in your little house and I just love this and I, I, these tents I think are a game changer in that it's a portable insulated pop-up it takes like a minute to, to put up and you can have your little house anywhere you go I like too the idea is that there are a lot of public lands where you can camp for free and so I'll be doing that in future videos as well. Ow. That is some fun eating right there. That is good for you. You feel great after oatmeal. Okay, so it looks like it's daylight outside and we have windows too, so you can kind of see that the sun is coming up.
so you can kind of explore before even leaving. And yeah, let's do some reconnaissance. And see what we have out there. So thanks for joining me. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Please like and subscribe if you like what you saw. We're going to take this ice fishing hut in all sorts of places, including the ice, and maybe do some ice fishing. And so we'll see you next time on Dave's Post-Apocalyptic World. Mm -hmm.